Hello, we are John and Kerry. We are travelling Australia and videoing our memories along the way. We love to share all the amazing places we find, adventures we get up to while attempting to catch a decent fish. Join us each week to see what we get up to. We've arrived in Alice Springs. This is the Wen Wengardi Caravan Park. It's about 15 k's out of Alice. This wasn't real comfortable staying in Alice at the moment, so it was nice and quiet out here last night. It was our first night. We're heading to town now and have a bit of a look around and get some groceries. This one's $33 a night, power and water. And that's your amenities over there. Nothing flash, but it does the job. But it's like the big fours and discovery and all that in town because it's got all the kids parks and slides and it's got everything there for them you're looking around 65 dollars a night there we didn't need any of that so this suits us great this one's emily gap due to the current water body of emily gap the art site is inaccessible by walking there is no other a alternative way to see the site other than swim through the water hmm, which is freezing oh, you gotta check it out so that's what you gotta swim and it's <laughs> neck deep <laughs> I think that's only 21 degrees today, I think I'll give it a miss. Well, it looks like we're giving the paintings a miss today. That's the car park. Plenty of room for cars. Bring your caravan in too if you need to. I come out to the Simpson Gap and have a little bit of a look. Depending on where you're staying in town, it's about 10 to 15 k's out of Alice Springs, about 13 k's from our caravan park. That's the car park there, plenty of room for long parks for your car and caravan if you need to bring it out. More cars over there. Uh -huh. Looks like we head down that way, walk through the dry creek. There's Simpson Gap, 20 minutes return. <laughs> you can't take bikes and you can't swim. Are you ready? I guess I'd say that's where the gap is. All that rock that's fallen down from up there. I reckon that'd come down with a rumble. <laughs> Nearly underneath that one, it comes out so far. Very pretty around here. Fish. Fish? Leaf fish. Uh -huh. This side of the leaf fish coming towards us, that flicker on. Oh, yeah, there is too. Heaps of them. There's fish in there. Not allowed to swim in here, which is a shame because the water's actually pretty clear. Clean looking. Well, right, we'll keep going till we get to the gap. He is huge. Go 
morning. We're at Stanley Chasm. This is the campground. It's $18.50 per person with $5 extra for power. It's just the car park that does the job. Yeah, $5 extra for power and that also gets you in as well which is twelve dollars each for us anyway I think that's a pretty good deal little cafe here parked up now so we're gonna go up and pay for it barbecue areas showers and toilets really cool paintings on the toilets men's toilets ladies toilets Nice and clean. And around the back here. A free washing machine. And a bit of a camp kitchen here. And the two very clean shelves. They're a great spot. Laundry powder at the cafe if you need some. This is great. This is everything that's here. So the walk down to Stanley Chasm is 15 minutes each way, the 2.4 kilometer walk round trip. Uh, light and relatively easy, it says. It's the camping here. We do culture tours. And there's a Chaos Cafe, which is just up here. We'll go and have a look at it. The Culture Centre over there. the way there to get to the cafe. You big cafe. It's a really good menu here too. Not sure about the burgers though. Buffalo, emu, camel or kangaroo. <laughs> Definitely gonna have one of these freak shakes. This is what one spearmint freak shake looks like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we gotta go down and have a little look. And we're in. That's the car park up there where you leave your van or motorhome. Point four k is fifteen minutes. You can do it. This is a nice, easy walk through the gorge. Quite pretty too, with all the ferns. Well, you might have to duck, John. Oh, yep, duck. duck. <laughs> Apparently someone left their fire going and it took up and went through here last year. Burned a bit of stuff. <laughs> so the tree split in half, the burnt bit drooped over that way and shooting off up there now. And then it's the other half still alive. <laughs> well, that's weird, isn't it? Mm. I'm 
beautiful big gum trees in here. Some call them white gum, some call them ghost gum. All the different colour rocks. Oh, the spider webs and spiders. <laughs> and duck for that one, John. There's spider webs everywhere and spiders in them. Here we go, up into the narrows. They say about lunchtime's the best time to come. The sun's coming down in the middle of it. A bit early yet for it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Love them or hate them, there's a rock tower. They look awesome with water gushing through it. At the moment, that's all that's left of the water. Very windy and cool through here. This is Neil Hardgrave Lookout. A little bit windy, flies are friendly, but the views are perfect. Well, we're just going to explore a couple of places out here in the McDonald Ranges from this is West McDonald Ranges from here. And then we'll go on to Ormiston Gorge tomorrow. Not nothing here, just picnic tables, shoulder, plenty of bins, and fire pits, barbecues. We're up high, the road is just down there. The main road. Not sure what the service is like, but if you stand on that cement slab there, that's supposed to get you some service. I'm sure we can live without it. Oh, the views are good. We're at Ellery Creek Big Hole. This is just all the picnic parking along here. We'll go for Una Rack up around the camping ground up there on the way back. Little barbecue areas here. I think the hole's this way. Yeah, welcome to Ellery Creek Big Hole. I'm going to try and say the Aboriginal name, Chiricha. Something like that. But this is where we are. And just got to head down this way. Oh, 
And there it is just there, not far at all. Doesn't look like too many people are swimming. A bit fresh apparently. A lot bigger than I thought it was. Shame it's too cool to get in. This is the Ellery Creek loop walk you can do if you want to. It's 32.3 k's long. Takes three days. You can get a sign in again if you're going to do it. And this is the campground. You got some toilets there, which I couldn't use. They're disgusting. All blocked up and yeah, not nice. But I'm glad we couldn't get. I tried to get into the campground here, but left it too late and couldn't. It was in the two weeks before we could get a spot. They're not. It's not a lot that would fit a caravan, car and caravan. I think there's only about three. The rest of them, you'd be lucky to get a car or a van in there. Little, little bus. The water hole is amazing. It's just a shame about the toilets the amenities. This is the car park here for the Serpentine Gorge. And just out there you can bring your caravan in, long vehicle parking up there. <laughs> so you can do walk-in camping at this one. You do have to book. So, yeah, 1.1k walk with 2.2 return. And there's a lookout at the end of it too. It's about another k straight up. You want to go up and have a look at it? If you want to go to the lookout, sign just out enough, you can see it. Head up that way, up to there. We're going to give it a miss today. It's getting a bit hot. Good excuse. This is the ochre pits that we're at. Just parked there on the side. Enough room there. And there is also coach parking if you keep going back out around from the picnic area. They're up this way. A little bit of information there about the ochre pits. How they, for thousands of years, they collected the coloured earth for ceremonial dances, decoration, and in burial rites throughout Australia, not just this area. They come from everywhere to get it. So it's only 300 metres down on the path, on the viewing platform. You can do an eight kilometre return walk. I think we'll just go to the viewing platform today. Another sign in thing here for if you're doing the big walk. The flies are friendly today. Gonna warm up a bit today by the feels of it. Most of these walks and places we've gone to have a look at, there's all these creek crossings to get to them. It'd look pretty good to see it with all the water in it.
Looks like some of it already. This is the look out here. You can go down and have a look, we'll go and do that. These are all the darker chocolate colours. And all the way down there to your oranges and reds and yellows. Be a sucky job to have to come and collect all this and cart it all back. Especially if you lived a fair way. Be a bit heavy. Hard to see all the colours through there because uh, it's in the shade at the moment. The sun's not on it. It's probably better up there though. Right, we're at the Ormiston Gorge. Staying at the campground here. Just checking out a couple of the walks. Go down here to the information centre. The toilets here, the car park's on the other side. Plenty of room for caravans if you're not staying. Kiosk there. It's all more car park along there. More free barbecues here as well. It's $10 per person to camp. Uh, showers and toilets. No water, and there's only recycling bins here. Take the rest of your rubbish with you. Here's all the walks you can do here. We're going to do the pond walk one. It's a loop track, 8.5 k's, 3 to 4 hour loop. Following the orange dots. We'll start with the big one. We can do the smaller ones tomorrow. We head this way, follow the orange markers. A little bit of a narrow goat track now. Wouldn't want to come undone. I'm thinking down in there is where we're going to end up. Oh, it's just a sheer drop off along there. Pretty cool. We're really up in goat country now. What's the view like out there? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Finally, some water. Rest of the creek's pretty much dry though. Getting closer into the gorge now. In through that way. Well, I have to say this last bit through the gorge is shit. Yeah, climb on, but all over these huge big river rocks to get out, there's no track. It's just rock hopping all along here. Hardest part of the track so far. Yeah, we're heading through the gorge now. Going that way. Is there any flies on me? <laughs> I feel like there might be. <laughs> it's a massive wall that one. Ok, 
colorings on that rock. It's one rock and it's got about four different colors. And these rocks are like cubes. Lego bricks. Same as those ones up there. Pretty awesome to see it full of water. Oh, we've come to the end of the gorge. This is where we're swimming. Well, it's cold. Found the marker and it says go this way. You go first. <laughs> I'll, I'll follow you. If you go under, I know not to go that way. <laughs> oh, did I forget to tell you about this? Huh? Did I forget to tell you about this bit? Is it cold? What? Is it cold? Yes. <laughs> If it, it went way steep on John, so it's going to go up to around my tummy, not high, chest deep. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, far, far out, that's cold. Takes your breath away. Yeah, I can see the marker over there on the rock in front of you. The marker's on the rock in front of you over there. Does that mean go across there? Or I think we need to keep going up that way. Oh yeah, you can probably get over those rocks there. Oh, now we've got to scramble over rocks. But it's slippery. Is there? And then it goes deep again. Yay! Oh. <laughs> oh, my foot's cramping up, it's that cold. And that way. Probably gonna be deeper over here. Huh? Fish jumping over there. <laughs> Is it right out, Doc? Lock Moose Monster. Lock Moose Monster. You wouldn't know what's in here. And then good get all the way out and then fall over on a rock. Righto, from here you can go up that way to the ghost gum walk. That's an hour. Or keep heading back that way half an hour to get back to the car park. I think we're buggered. We're gonna go for half an hour one. I think eight eight point five Ks we've done, haven't we? It's enough. <laughs> Change of plans. We are going back via ghost gum. What's it called? Ghost Gum Walk. Tried to get through the water up there and it was ended up up to John's chest, which would mean it'd be over my head. Views from the top. That's where we swim across. Right up there. This is the lookout. You can see our caravan over there. Probably wouldn't be the best lookout if you're scared of heights. You go straight down. And the fun bit <laughs> down all the stairs 
there, along there, and back to the campground. Actually quite a good view of the campground, that's the car park over that way. Picnic areas, kiosk and toilets, and then up over behind them's the campground and toilets. And the ranger lives just out there. Sun's going down very shortly. Oh, look where he's made it to. All the way over there. <laughs> he had to go right up around and then come back again. <laughs> he would have been happy about that. Made it back before sunset. Just. How pretty is that? We've come out to Glen Helen Gorge. This is the caravan park here. We're not staying here, but this is um, your access to the actual gorge. And you just park here. Day visitors parking. That's the office there. Head up around this way. This is where we are here. Well, we've only got to walk to there, to the gorge. It's not far at all. Doesn't actually say how far, but I don't think it's far. Looks like it just down there. You can swim. No diving, no fishing. That's the Fink River. Well, there it is. Had to do a little bit of a wade through the water to get here. Wouldn't like to be getting in too deep. It's chilly. Very windy coming through here. Well, this one's Red Bank Gorge. 1.2 k's, 30 minutes, one way. Our return. A viewing walk. Red Bank Gorge walk. Or Mount Saunders Lookout walk. I think we'll do the middle one. It's moderate. like it's just through the gorge from here straight through the gorge shouldn't be too bad looks like it could be a bit rocky though see how we go there is a campground here that's about two k's back up a bit higher and this is a car park area there's plenty of car parking Head down and see how we go. So far the track's been pretty good. You can either walk along this track, it's more dirt and rock, or you can walk down there in the creek through sand mostly and a few rocks. That's too hard to walk on that sand. Sink in it makes it twice as hard. So this track for us. I think this is about as far as we'll go. Get too hard getting over those big rocks. My poor old knees don't like it. Northern Territory's luckiest tree. That's it from us this week. Thanks for watching. See you next week.